Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. Hi, folks. This is Brian Anderson. I'm Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. A moment here to see the numbers for Jaron Jackson. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. And checking out the opening lineup for Memphis. Bain is the two with Williams playing the three. Jaron Jackson out there with Santi Aldama. And it's Morant in at the one. And for Phoenix, Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Kevin Durant. Then there's Grayson Allen. Then there's Eric Gordon. And it's Booker in at the point. The second game of a back-to-back -back here tonight. Brent, it must be hard to keep your energy up on consecutive nights. Well, that's why we see so many coaches sit healthy players for the second game. But the NBA has done a great job over the past four or five seasons cutting back on back-to-back -back nights where games are scheduled. And the players spoke up and the league listened. Here we go. So Phoenix will get the first. Session. Pass to Gordon. Duran with a screen on Williams. Now Duran. True on the 14-footer. KD unafraid to get to the mid-range, and he can get there at will. And here's Morant. Turned in an outstanding game against Dallas. 16 feet out, and that's good for two. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Allen. Back to Duran. Shoots over Jackson. Durant, no good. 
Williams against Gordon. And just over a minute played here to start the game. From deep, Bain connects from downtown. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Booker against Moran. Outside Durant. Stolen! Here's Jackson. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Pain, no good. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Allen finds Durant. Picked it out of midair! And here they come. Here's Aldama. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. down the first one. That one falls, so he hits both of them. You know, Brent, for the Suns franchise, it's hard to believe they've never won an NBA title. Pretty incredible with the uh, ring of honor in Phoenix that they have and the amount of Hall of Fame players that have put on that jersey. You know, they've lost the finals a few times, up 2-0 back in the 21 finals. They've got a couple of MVPs, some fantastic teams. The title is the last frontier for the Phoenix Suns. Now here's Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. And you know you're always going to see some highlights when Morant is on the court. I mean, he loves to use that incredible 44-inch vertical. Booker against Morant. Booker surveying the D. Gordon outside. Five on the clock to halt the run. Grizzlies with the rebound. Last time they met was in Memphis. They flat out dominated the last time these teams squared off, particularly on the glass. Uh, we'll see if the other team will address that problem in this game because last game, man, they just got smoked on the boards. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. Amongst the bigs, power forwards and centers, these are the top foul shooters. Fifth is Kevin Durant. And you really have to love the confidence of this group at the free throw line. We haven't seen them struggle from there the way many bigs do. Big men making free throws? Who knew? These players are as comfortable at the stripe as they are in any other aspect of the game. in the first quarter about three minutes played Williams against Gordon screen by Durant oh and he blocks it off the glass wow one of five to start the game they have to slow down and just play their brand of basketball with a step back Morant no good Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Durant, the pass to Booker. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. And most fans think of Devin Booker. They think of the range. But, man, he's attacking right now to get to the line. Payne with a screen on Booker. Here's Morant. Oh, denied by Durant. Nurkic passes to Allen. To the inside. Here's Booker. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jaron Jackson picks one up. 
And one thing about Devin Booker, he continually hones his offensive game, Brent. Yeah, I'm trying to find a weakness in what Devin Booker can provide you offensively, and there aren't any. His strengths are absolutely elite. Shot creation, great range. He's a clutch performer. This guy is a special offensive talent. That free throw good from Booker. And Booker just one of these guys who's calculating on the offensive end. He's trying to figure out what defenses are doing. He's always working hard to find shots and he's going to influence the game with the way he can produce. He does not get the second one. Here's the Grizzlies with the ball. They're on a 12 to 3 run. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. For Phoenix, they've gone two of six to open up this game. Gordon against Williams. Outside Durant. The three is up. Phoenix no good that time either. Memphis has gone two for three from outside the arc. Morant finds Jackson. Outside Morant. Pass to Jackson. Six to shoot. Nurkic with some nice D. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Gordon with it. They shoot again. And the layup by Durant. Durant's gotten his second bucket of the game. Great intensity from KD not allowing the defense to end the play. Inside. And they call an illegal screen here. That's a whistle he did not want to hear his second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. Roddy, he's checked in for Memphis. And so it's Nurkic who brings up the ball for the Phoenix Suns. It's a five-point game. Right side, Booker. Tries it from 19, and the basket is good. Booker's got five points. Yeah, a good contest, but if Booker has his eyes on the rim before you get there on the closeout, chances are he's going to score. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. And that's two awful trips in a row resulting in turnovers. The Suns have gone 4 of 10, shooting the rock in this first quarter. Moran against Booker. Durant with a screen on Morant. Outside Booker. Pass to Durant. Allen outside. Fires the three. And it's Bain with the rebound. The Grizzlies on offense. Three-point lead. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. You have to respect their ability to stay consistent away from home. Keeping their cool and making quality shots. Well, awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were in some hostile territory. Now here's Booker. 29 points for him last game against Denver. Outside Durant. Back to Booker. Puts it up. And another basket for Phoenix. Love the confidence of Devin Booker. When he gets a screen, he knows what he wants to do. And he's going for the oop here. And stolen by Durant. Allen outside. Down low. And it's Bain with the rebound. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looked like plenty of room. Here's Morant. And another basket for Memphis. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. The Suns trailing. Outside Booker. Durant with a screen on Morant. Pass to Durant. 
Back to Booker. Shot clock at five. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Booker's got nine. Well, that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Picked by Aldama. And there's the drive. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Well, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Watanabe's checked in for the Suns. For three, Gordon. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. And once Eric Gordon receives that pass, he's just rising up. So a natural rhythmic jump shot. Rose against Gordon. Jackson outside. The three-pointer off the mark. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Gordon, the pass to Booker. Pass to Nurkic. The three. Another three for Phoenix. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Memphis has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. To the middle. Here's Jackson. on the free throw. Phoenix making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. Bates Diop comes in for Gordon. And Okogi is subbed in for Allen. So it comes up empty at the line. The Suns have gotten 8 of 16 attempts to fall. Eubanks, the pass to Watanabe. Here's Bates Diop. And that misses! That would have put him up! Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. And the bucket is good. Now here's Booker. He's got nine. Releases from the wing and drills it. Booker's got 11 points. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Throws it up high. Here's Watanabe, guarded by Rose. Booker's shot is good. Oh, fantastic start from the field for him. Six for eight. Rose outside. On the wing, Conchar. No made baskets yet. The rebound by Eubanks. The Suns leading. 157 left in the first quarter here. Pass to Okogi. And it's stolen by Rose. Thirteen feet out. Got it. This is the range Rose is comfortable from. A point guard who likes firing more from 15 feet than 25. Bates D off the screen. Booker for three. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Rose against Booker. Rose, the pass to Robbie. And here's Aldama. Pass to Rose. Shoots over Booker. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. 
Well, shots like that drive coaches batty. I'll be shocked if he attempts that shot again. The shot's good. And the Suns lead by five. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Now here's Rose. In his last outing, eight points for him. Conchar outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Aldama. No good from outside. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. Maradami passes to Booker. Bates Diop, the screen. Pulls up on the wing. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Eight for ten out of the gate. He couldn't ask for a much better start. Booker against Rose. Pass to Roddy. Jackson on the wing. They need this. Tries it from 19. And the basket by Aldama. Aldama's got his second bucket on the night. And that does it for the first quarter. Suns ahead. They lead by five. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Suns. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so producing from there, that bodes well. On the court for Memphis. We've got Jackson. John Conchar is out there with Ja Morant. Then it's Jackson, and it's Williams in at the three. And here's Morant outside, and it's Watanabe with a rebound. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Durant's shot is off. Memphis trailing here. Here's Jackson. Okogi pulls down the board. to the paint. Katie jams it straight down. Yeah, a lot of years behind Kevin Durant, but that doesn't mean he's still not going to get up. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Brian, there's a youthful exuberance in the Grizzlies locker room that some say more resembles a college team. Jaron Jackson Jr. said, quote, everybody listens to the same music, does the same things, watches the same stuff. We all vibe together and we like hanging around each other and it translates. And Brian? Oh, you like that connection. Allie, thank you. Now here's Moran. There's Jackson with the three. That doesn't go either for Jackson. The Suns have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Outside Booker. Over Jackson. Booker, good. Booker's got 20. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. The Suns have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Eubanks with it. Jackson in his pocket. Outside for Booker. Pass to Durant. From the arc. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got four rebounds now. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Morant, the pass to Williams. Back to Morant. Jackson outside. Here's Conchar. Drops in the three. Conchar's got his first three points of the game. Adding to his game over time. When Jackson spots his open teammates like this, the offense runs much smoother. Durant with a screen on Morant. Pass to Durant. Three-pointer. KD splashes the triple. 
Oh, you got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And it's Job ja Morant with the foul. That's his first foul. All right, here's a look at the schedule for the Memphis Grizzlies. On Wednesday, they'll take on Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. And then on Friday, they'll be taking on Rudy Gobert and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And looking at the Dallas matchup, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. You just hope they are able to execute their game plan as it should be a time close out, one. Goodwin's checked in for the Suns. Desmond Bain, Party. he's checked in for Memphis. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. All right, let's see which two guards have enjoyed the most accurate shooting over the last 10 games. Fourth, Desmond Bain. And these guys are all assertive. They're willing to step up and take shots when their names are called. And this is what separates them from all the rest. Well, the array of moves that each of those players has is just about unlimited. Whether it's in tight or outside, they know how to free themselves up and find the best shot possible. It's reflected in their shooting percentages. Pass to Goodwin. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Okoge. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It's on Desmond Bain. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. And he's good on the first of three. That one misses. And he nails the third. Three minutes of action thus far in the second. Pass to Jackson. Outside Bain. Jackson outside. Five to shoot. Outside Morant. Fires for three. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists in the game. Good one. Passes to Durant. This one for three. Oh, the response. Durant. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt. Let's hope he's okay. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about. No matter your age or your ability. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training. Eat right, train right. But at the end of the day, it's pretty random. Phoenix making some changes. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Eubanks. Allen comes in for Durant. And it's Booker in for Goodwin. Jackson, right side. Over Nurkic. That's good from Jackson. On the assist by Morant. Oh, forget the threes, Jaron. Hammer them down low. Great possession, big fella. Nurkic a screen on Morant. Booker, the pass to Nurkic. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Kicks it out to Bain. Jackson, the pass to Bain. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Moran. Oh, deflected. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Here's Watanabe, guarded by Bain. Watanabe passes to Allen. Here's Nurkic. 
Nurkic to screen on Morant. Booker for three. And the Suns get another three. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Jackson with a screen on Booker. Moran against Booker. Jackson right side. Good. And the setup by Moran. Not just an aggressive score, Morant is also a fantastic distributor. Phoenix has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Inside, here's Booker. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got five rebounds in the game. Bain with it, picked up by Allen. Pass to Jackson. Baseline jumper. It doesn't go for him. Phoenix has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Booker against Moran. Back to Nurkic. Uncovered. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Yeah, that miss might stick with them for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Falls for Jackson, and in terms of the league as a whole, there have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace, and across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art, so I don't know if it's all for the best. And the Suns making a change here. Gordon's checked in. And Gordon has got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. It's a 10-point game. Allen, left side, from downtown. Grizzlies with the rebound. Bain's got four rebounds now. Outside, Williams. Pass to Jackson. Shoots over Booker. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Booker with a screen on Bain. Here's Gordon for three. Allen, the rebound by Jackson. Memphis has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. On the wing, Bain. Back to Rose. Up and over Gordon. Rose can't connect. The Suns have gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Floats one. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Nurkic against Rose. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Phoenix has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Bain against Booker. And Booker gets double teamed. To win the cold spell. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. I mean, if I was out there, I'd probably guess anyone, anyone for Jackson Jr. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. And Phoenix has possession. Following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Back to Allen. Pass to Gordon. Puts up a three. Clock at six. It's rebounded by Memphis. A chance to get a quick injury report. Let's check in with Allie LaForce for an injury update on Kevin Durant. Allie? Hey, guys, I got an update from the head athletic trainer of the Suns. I was told it's a knee sprain. Not great news by any stretch, but luckily it wasn't anything major. While not severe, this is still a serious diagnosis that usually keeps guys off the court for a short period. Back to you. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him, and now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. Bates Diop, he's checked in for Watanabe. Roddy, he's checked in for Memphis.
And he sinks the second. The Suns leading. Now Booker. 23 points in the game. Here's Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. And Nurkic getting up there and waiting that rim. Booker against Rose. On the wing, Bain. All alone. And he hits the jumper for two. Bain's got eight. And the Suns shooting a nice 50% for the game. Outside Booker. Gets it to go from the corner. And Booker firing on all cylinders. And this guy is one of the toughest in the NBA to slow down. Rose with it. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Free throw good from Allen. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Aldama comes in for Jackson. And it's Conchar in for Desmond Bain. So both free throws good from Allen. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Pass to Aldama. And here is Williams. Picked by Aldama. Let's the three fly. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Phoenix has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Here's Bates Diop. And Booker gets double teamed. Here's Nurkic. Phoenix no good that time either. And the Grizzlies shooting around 44%. Not bad. Rose, the pass to Roddy. Now here's Aldama. Just five to shoot. Pass to Rose. Fires from deep. Knocks down the triple. Rose has got five points. And at the arc, Rose definitely picks his battles. But when he sees his chance, he knocks it down. Allen, the pass to Nurkic. Here's Bates Diop. Now Allen. Nurkic a screen on Williams. Allen finds Nurkic. Now here's Allen. Williams defending. Let's it go. And there's Booker. That one's good. On the assist from Allen. Booker's got nine points in the quarter. The Grizzlies shooting just 37% from the field in the second quarter. Conchar outside. Pass to Williams. Rose outside. Six on the shot clock. Over Booker. The shot won't fall. Nurkic with some nice D. Here's Allen going inside. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. And he waited for the last possible minute to get that one off. Made a sick adjustment right before he let it go. Williams passes to Aldama. Williams with it. Picked by Aldama. Over Nurkic. And the basket by Aldama. Give him eight points now. now. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Williams against Allen. To the inside. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Conchar. Good. Elite passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. It's Booker on the wing, guarded by Rose. HD up, passes to Gordon. Drains the triple. Gordon's got six points. 
Ooh, that three-pointer right there hurts. The former Indiana Hoosier really can bury those threes in bunches. Rose outside. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for Phoenix. 27 on the night. He's had it his way. Valley, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Thanks for joining us, everybody. An uphill battle so far for the Memphis Grizzlies. Well, the obvious problem is the perimeter defense. And it's not all their fault. Sometimes a team just gets hot. But at the same time, at some point, you have to force shooters to put the ball on the floor and beat you some other way. It's a conundrum. And now a subject that's always of interest, player movement around the league. Love the addition of Pascal Siakam. What a job by the front office. Pascal is a long wing, and he uses that length on both ends of the floor. He doesn't need to dominate the ball to be effective, which is why he should fit in seamlessly. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. There wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. They've got Grayson Allen, Yuta Watanabe out there with Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Devin Booker, and it's Gordon in at the three, the small forward. So. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh. Oh, putting on a show for the fans. Morant's skills making it look like a circus in here. Booker against Morant. Unloads. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. So it's Moran that brings up the ball for the Grizzlies. After this one, they're off to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. That'll be the back end of a three-game road trip. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, Brian, durability is a focus for Ja Moran. He said, quote, the number one thing is being available, working on my body to get stronger and on the court, being way more consistent with my shooting so I don't have to go back to the rack, absorb all that contact, and hit the floor every single time. Brian? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Allie. Booker. Oh, another one falls for Phoenix. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Jackson with a screen on Booker. And it's Morant missing. Oh, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be nine out of ten times. Allen finds Booker. Here's Nurkic. No good there. Memphis with the ball. They trail by 14. 90 seconds into the second half now. Picked by Aldama. Williams in the post. Watanabe on him. And the shot's good. Bain's got 10. They have no answer defensively inside. Allen outside. Pass to Booker. Back to Nurkic. Allen on the wing. And here's Nurkic. The three is up. Watanabe can't get it to go. Bain, the pass to Morant. Jackson with a screen on Booker. 
Here's Moran. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. Watanabe's got four rebounds now. Pass to Booker. Back to Watanabe. To the middle. Oh, Booker in close. Like a matador. Ole. There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping. Kicks it out to Jackson. Aldama with it. Down low. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. What determination from Morant in the paint. Getting his shot off despite being fouled. And he makes a first. The boundless athleticism Morant has is really special. He's someone that is always in attack mode. Both good from the line that time. Here's Allen. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. Pass to Nurkic. Here's Watanabe. Allen outside. Outside for Booker. Ooh, Booker from range. Pure. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Timeout called. Memphis. Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. You look at the Grizzlies, they're in sixth place, but still time to make a move in the standings. And of course, Phoenix, well, record-wise, not even in the same conversation. Right now for the Grizzlies, this hasn't been an ideal launch to their season. They're really going to have to find a nice win streak to get back in that top spot. They're lacking a little bit of fire so far this year, and we've seen that before. For a team of their caliber, it can be tough to maintain that intensity for each and every game in the early part of the going. Jackson with a screen on Booker. And here's Morant outside. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Phoenix has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Grizzlies. And quickly, the 2K leaderboard showing the teams blocking the most shots over the last month. Number one, the Suns. These guys have been so impressive down low on the defensive end. Denying shots left and right over the past month. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pick by Aldama. Pass to Jackson. Outside, Williams. Shoots over Booker. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist with that last one. And Booker has got the ball here for Phoenix. It's rebounded by Memphis. Aldama, the pass to Moran. Aldama, outside. Jackson finds Moran. Pulls up, high post. The rebound by Allen. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Chalk up two there. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. I mean, they played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. That free throw good from Allen. And here's Morant. He's got 13. Oh, 
outside Bain for three. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got four assists now tonight. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Nurkic a screen on Moran for three. Booker. The offensive rebound. Here's Nurkic. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Jackson, the pass to Bain. From outside, off the mark. The Suns have gotten five of ten shots to go. Inside, here's Allen. Phoenix no good that time either. For Memphis, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Pass to Bain. Jackson, the screen. Tries the nine-footer. That one's good for two. Jackson's got his third basket of the night. Excellent tempo on the play. And he leads his teammate perfectly. Williams against Gordon. Nurkic. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And the Suns lead by 13. Williams against Gordon. Left side, Williams. Pass to Jackson. Second shot opportunity. And it's finished off inside by Jackson. Jackson's got his second basket of the night. And just a forceful play by Jackson. Clearing the glass and muscling his way to his own shot. And here's Booker. Three-pointer. And it's Bain with the rebound. Bain's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Moran. There's Jackson with the three. That doesn't go either for Jackson. The Suns have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Gordon finds Nurkic. Moran against Booker. Back to Nurkic. Gordon outside. Just five on the clock. There's a screen by Nurkic. Launches a three. And Eric Gordon hits from deep. Gordon's got nine. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. And the Suns making a change here. Okogie's checked in. So Memphis going with an almost entire new group here. Roddy, he's checked in for Jackson. Conchar comes in for Williams. Williams is checked in for Bain. And Rose is subbed in for Moran. Here's Rose. He's got five. Now here's Williams. There's Jackson with the three. That shot is off. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. The size mismatch makes that a high percentage look. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Baines checked in. And the free throw, no good. And so Jackson Jr. will bring it up for the Grizzlies. It's a 16-point game. Oh, come on, B.A. I mean, where's the defense? That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job and help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Booker with it. Picked up by Rose. Pass to Watanabe. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. 
Booker's got four assists in the game. Now Devin Booker, a shooting guard that does have some point guard skills. Rose against Booker. They set a pick. To the paint. Here's Roddy. Drops in the layup for two. Roddy's got six points. Another assist in the career of D. Rose. Phoenix has gone two for five from three since halftime. To the middle. Here's Booker. Tipped. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. Here's Booker. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Bain's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Rose. Back to Bain. Here's Roddy. And here's Jackson. Allen defending. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got his third bucket of the night. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Allen with it. Here's Okogi. Off target from outside. Well, he definitely forced that shot, guys. He had plenty of time to adjust himself and kick the ball out and look for a better shot. Have to give credit to the defense there, too. Rose with the bucket. A shooter of Rose's skill is just automatic. I mean, he's ready to strike at a moment's notice. Allen, the pass to Eubanks. And Booker gets double teamed. Back to Eubanks. Allen outside. Shot clock at six to the inside. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Now say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Bates Diop, he's checked in for Allen. Well, the Grizzlies shooting at 49% so far in the game. Outside Bain takes the three. Okogi pulls down the board. Okogi's got four rebounds now. It's Booker on the wing. From deep three-point land. Grizzlies with the rebound. Jackson's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. One shot. The Suns leading. Outside Booker. Let's it go from the wing. And he hits the jumper. Booker's got 39. And you just look how precise the footwork and the shooting is from Devin Booker. So easy from that distance. Outside Bain. The three ball. The rebound by Devin Booker. And the Suns shooting 52% from the floor so far. Pass to Bates Dia. And here are the top three-point shooters in the NBA. Fourth, Desmond Bain. Well, the shooting percentage he's cultivated from deep range is so impressive. His three-point shot is about as good as you can hope for. The first one falls. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead.
And so he's able to get one of two. Memphis shooting around 52% since the start of the third. Jackson, the pass to Rose. Outside Bain. Back to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, great body control. Good timing. Jackson really works the pick and roll to perfection. Outside Booker. Here's Watanabe. Conchar covers. Okogi, the pass to Watanabe. Five to shoot. Booker for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Booker's got 42 in the game. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Jackson outside. Takes a three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Jackson's got nine points now in the quarter. Expanding his overall game. Good to see Jackson Jr. taking and making the corner triple. Hooker no good. And Memphis shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Outside Bain. There's the triple. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And so it's Phoenix closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Here's Booker. On the court for the Grizzlies. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Santi Aldama out there with John Conchar. And it's Williams in a small forward. Eubanks the screen. Pass to Okogi. Here's the three. Counted from distance. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Now Morant. Aldama outside. Here's Conchar. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Suns shooting 52% from the floor so far. Let's go with a three. Little, no good. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide-open look from three-point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Morant surveying the floor. Pass to Bain. Here's Conchar. Off target with the three. Phoenix is going one of two from deep in this quarter. Okogi, the pass to Eubanks. Little with the ball. Williams defending. Morant against Booker. Pass to Metu. The Suns need to get off a shot. And stolen by Williams. Here's Morant. Tough points from Ja. Because of his ability to elevate and make adjustments in air, Morant has no trouble scoring inside. There's a screen by Metu. Booker, the pass to Metu. And stolen by Morant. Down low. Here's Conchar. 
good. And the setup by Morant. Morant's got five assists tonight. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. There's a screen by Metu. To the left side wing. Back to Booker. Over Morant. Booker no good. The Grizzlies have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Phoenix making some changes. Bowl comes in for Metu. And it's Allen in for Little. And Memphis also making a switch. Jackson is checked in. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. During that break, Coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. Coach had a direct message for the team saying, no matter the lead, no NBA game is ever over. Do not let your guard down. We'll see if they hold on. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. Now Allen, pass to Eubanks. Now Booker, hounded by Moran. Back to Eubanks. For three, Allen hits a three-pointer. And the Suns lead by seven. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Moran, the pass to Aldama. Williams with it. Outside Moran. And tearing them to shreds tonight. You know, when a player as versatile as Morant starts going off, look out. Booker against Morant. Booker, the pass to Bowl. Here's Okogi. There's the three. He can't hit that time. Pass to Morant. Crosses over. Hits the front of the rim and out. Phoenix has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Allen. Back to Eubanks. Outside Booker. The three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Aldama, the pass to Moran. Conchar, outside. Here's Jackson. The rebound by Allen. All alone from mid-range. You've got to think he's kicking himself. The Suns leading. Outside bowl. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, that's some pesky defense. Should have thought twice before attempting that pass. Conchar, the pass to Moran. Pass to Aldama from behind the arc. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. For Phoenix, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. And the foul on Jaron Jackson. That's his third foul of the game. For three, Booker. Conchar pulls it in. Memphis has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. To the paint. The steal. Booker with it. Inside. Okogi. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Moran against Booker. Count it and the foul. 
It goes on bowl bowl. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Eubanks. One shot. Free throw drops for Moran. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Phoenix has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Booker against Moran. There's the screen by Bowl. Booker for three. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Moran. Jackson with a screen on Booker. Oh, Moran sinks the triple. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Now here's Allen, guarded closely. Here's Okogi to get back on track. No good that time. Booker against Moran. With contact, Ja Morant. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Booker against Moran. Outside Booker. Pass to Allen. Six on the shot clock. Fires from 14. That one goes. Count it. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but... He has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Here's Moran. Count it, and one. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. The other part about tonight, you got to give credit to the coaching staff. They came in here with a great game plan, defensively locked in. They were ready for the sets. They jumped in passing lanes. They came away with steals. I mean, they anticipated just about everything. And Morant, no good on that one. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. Rose against Booker. Gordon outside. There's a screen by Nurkic. Shot from the top of the key. And they'll get another chance. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Timeout call. Memphis. Here's the Grizzlies with the ball. They're on a team to five run. Moran against Booker. Moran, no good. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. Booker drawing the double. Jacks up a three. Sends it home from three-point land. And this game is tied up now. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? Here's Rose to the middle. Here's Aldama. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And passes like this demonstrate Rose's unselfish attitude, which is why his teammates enjoy playing with him. Pass to Nurkic. Nurkic is screen on Williams. Gordon finds Nurkic. 
And now the Grizzlies on the run. And Rose, the bucket on the assist by Jackson. And now a four-point Memphis lead. Yeah, good hands from Jaron Jackson Jr., showing why he's considered an incredible defender. Gordon can't hit. Memphis has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Williams passes to Jackson. And great poise there from Jackson. He's getting crowded by the defender, but stays cool and takes the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Jackson. No good on the second free throw. Two possession game now, but he'd still like to have back that one he missed. Pass to Watanabe. Let's it go from deep. Hits the trifecta. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot time out, time out. defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. Here's Morant. Outside, Williams. Pass to Aldama. The kick out to Williams. Clock at six. Jackson with a screen on Booker. And here's Morant outside. And Nurkic with the block. And Nurkic seeing an opportunity there to make the impact defensively with the block. Down low. Here's Gordon. Gordon with the big finish. You gotta love the confidence on display from Eric Gordon. He really looks to be the man for them in spots like this, especially when his team needed it. Morant with it. Now guarded by Booker. Booker against Morant. Sinks that one from the post. Morant's got 29. Can you say... Prime time player, Morant. He enjoys delivering for his team in these parts of the game. Booker finds Nurkic. Knocked away. Jackson, pass to Aldama. Now Rose. Outside, Williams. Picked by Aldama. He shoots a three. Offensive rebound. Jackson can't get it to go. The Suns trailing. Here's Booker. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Booker's so relaxed, under pressure. And this is who the team wants at the free throw line in these moments. Let's go. 
He gets the first, and that narrows the gap to one. And even with the stakes this high, I wouldn't bet against Booker. He has this shot really dialed in. Both free throws good from Booker. He's such a great free throw shooter who can handle big moments. Memphis has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. With the step back. And then Morant with the jam! Oh, you know Morant wants it. And guess what? He got it. Booker against Morant. Outside Booker. Here's Nurkic. Goes back up. Williams grabs the board. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Booker with it. Picked up by Rose. <laughs> now that's one to remember. What an impact on the game. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Moran against Booker. Outside Moran. Jackson against Nurkic. Six to shoot. All down the right side. From outside the arc. Off target from downtown. And just tremendous hustle by Moran. A scrappy superstar. Phoenix calls timeout. They're trailing by two. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Your thoughts, guys? A chance to tie it up here. Well, they just need a solid play right now, and Coach going through his index cards to find one to get something going. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Outside Booker. For the win! Oh, that shot had a chance, but the all-or-nothing shot attempt is off the mark. And so it's the Grizzlies who come out on top here. For your team. And then, Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks.